y'all, Miles J here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this kinky wig from DivasWigs.com. Because don't I look like a diva to you? This is the vase of a diva. We will you weave. So Divas Wigs offered me another chance to collab with them, and of course I said, yes. So immediately I went to the natural hair section because I've been experimenting a lot with my own natural hair and with natural hair wigs, the one natural hair wig that I have. And I was like, I need more of these. Why didn't I get more? Because I need more color. I want to try different textures and styles. So I was like, let me broaden my horizons a little bit and get this new texture. And so far, so good. I am loving it. So this is the box they sent me from Divas Wigs. You see that nice little golden girl on there and then you open it up and you see this nice little silk scarf that's got some weird patterning on it. And then you got your brush, your white brush and the her of course and wig cap and instruction manual. So this wig is 22 long inches. Y'all are like, uh, long. Hunty is very curly so she is long. She goes all the way down to my teeth, okay? The hair color is in number two which is darkest brown and I chose that because I wanted it to look more like my natural hair color so when my hair hits the sunlight it doesn't look like navy blue or anything because that's like raven black but it looks brown or orange so I wanted this hair to reflect that and to also be a little bit light you know just keep it cute. The hair density is 150% which means that she is thick if you couldn't already tell and the lace color is medium brown, but I've edited the lace since then. And the cap size is average. They didn't have a large cap size, so I guess that's why this wig didn't fit my head the way I thought or hoped it was going to. Okay, so these are my first impressions. I just took this unit out of the box, so here we go. First and foremost, she smells like I'm pretty wiggy. And I noticed that there's baby hairs around the perimeter, which may or may not be annoying, we'll see. And on the inside, there is three combs, two at the nape of the head wherever this part is and one at the top of the head like right at the dome your cap and then you've got the draw straps in the back and another comb in the back for extra security and I enjoy that four combs girl yes ma'am and this wig is a glueless lace front wig so there are tracks in the back and lace in the front hence lace front okay come on jerry curl Ooh. Yeah. How does Little Richard sound? He's like, yeah, I'm Little Richard. Ooh, ah. Oh my God, but okay, these, these curls are everything. You know who I feel like? I feel like every black goddess who ever stepped foot on the set of a 90s television show. Like, I feel like their hair was always in this like gorgeous curl pattern and just like micro braids and just this fabulous era of just like natural hairstyles it was everything and truth be told i'm probably not gonna have to put that much powder on this lace because it's like already blended in like yes yes ma'am please have more colors of lace like this yes i mean this hairline uh, it's not bad but it's, it's definitely not good and this hair is so silky too can we can we talk about that how silky this hair is can we uh, god oh mama wasn't ready this is the, the, I wasn't ready. All right, so I'm back and I just styled her a little bit. Didn't do too much besides cut the lace, color it, so that way it blended more. And just brought down these little baby hairs a little bit. And I'm actually loving them so much because you know what it means? It means that I can shell down the baby hairs to create like that little effect of like, I love this hair so much but of course it doesn't reach my actual hairline like at all like the hair ends right about here and it's like touching my ear it's a very weird spot so I have to like tuck it back there so that way it doesn't show. I'm tempted to dye it, but I don't want to ruin this curl pattern. So I'm not going to be brushing it or like doing anything crazy to it because you guys are always like, Maya, stop touching the wings. It always looks better before you touch it. And I'm like, girl, be quiet. If I destroyed the wig, I destroyed it for me, not for you. Okay, so if it looks good to me, that's all that matters. 
But anyway, I digress. And as far as the tracks in the back go, I mean, can y'all see anything? Like, do I, when I swoop the hair down the middle, can you see anything? So yes, I'm loving this unit. I have nothing else bad to say, really. So all in all, I'm gonna have to give this full <laughs> and Little Richards out of five. Woo! So if you guys enjoyed this weave review, please leave a comment down below telling me which wigs I should review next. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye!